Marching the streets of downtown Sacramento, people protest a landmark decision from the California State Supreme Court. Nearly seven months after voters decided to ban gay marriage, there was a court ruling today that made it official. The justices of the state Supreme Court voted to uphold the ban on gay marriage. It was a six to one decision. They say voters have the right to change their constitution. But justices ruled the 18,000 same-sex marriages already on the books in California are still valid. Mike Delostrino joins us live at the state capitol where a protest march turned rally wrapped up in the steps tonight. Mike? Yeah, Sam and Palace out here on the streets of Sacramento. You might have think it was a flashback to the few weeks before the election when we saw all of these protests for and against Proposition 8. But one thing is clear tonight. This is the battle that just will not end. One, two, three, four. Love is what we're fighting for. The march from Midtown to the Capitol lawn. We're hoping for equality for all. That's what we're marching for. Catholics for equality and the girls who love their lesbian moms. They carry equality. signs and scream the battle cry. What do you want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. Supporters on the streets and behind the wheel. I think the demonstration is great. The rush is now on for another gay marriage vote on the 2010 ballot. That's just a year and a half from now. And they all know that there is one thing that they have to do to try and win another election, and that is to outspend people in favor of Proposition 8. That's going to be tough. We'll do our best. <laughs> At the Capitol, they get some company. Prop 8! Celebrate! Prop 8 supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah! All 11 of them. But the voters have spoken, and they did ban gay marriage. It's not a healthy lifestyle, and it's a very immoral lifestyle. So many still fight for what they call their right to marry. That can't stand in California! Is the fight starting all over again this early? Oh, God, I hope not. Well, it looks like the 2010 election season might have started today. And right now, the Capitol and Capitol Lawn are clear. And tonight, we can tell you, after several hours of this protest and those Prop 8 people across the street, there were no issues today, no arrests, everything peaceful here tonight. Well, I'm glad to hear that. But I, as you said, I think this is going to continue for quite a while. Mike, thank you this so much. This is not the last we're going to hear of it. No. From Sacramento to San Francisco and Los Angeles, people have been protesting all day today's ruling on Prop 8. Now, on your left, hundreds streamed into an intersection near San Francisco City Hall immediately following today's ruling. The police did arrest more than 150 same-sex marriage backers who blocked a street there. On the right, as many as 2,000 people rallied in West Hollywood today. Police say no arrests have been made there. Now, some of the demonstrators are carrying American flags and signs that read, California needs love, not hate, and gays on strike. So that's just a sampling. Sam? Palace, don't be surprised to see this as early as 2010 on a ballot near you. Many wondering what is next here. That is a question tonight. Groups that support same-sex marriage, like the Courage Campaign, they've already announced they plan to support putting it on the measure, putting that measure on the ballot in 2010. 82% of that group's members have voted yes to that idea. Other same-sex marriage groups are expected to announce their support as well. There is a new survey out. It is from Sacramento State University, and it indicates that many of the people who live in our region are pretty much split on the idea of gay marriage. I want to show you those numbers tonight. 49% say gay marriage between same-sex couples should be recognized 45% disagree. Religious organizations and political party affiliation playing a role on where people stand on this issue, Palace. And the politicians who would like to run this state also have mixed reactions to the ruling. Now, one of the top Republican candidates for governor, Meg Whitman, says regardless of one's position on the measure, this ruling gives people confidence that their vote matters and can make a difference. Insurance Commissioner and Republican Steve Poisner agrees. He says the California Supreme Court took the appropriate action. They voted that marriage should remain between a man and a woman. He adds, that is also my personal view. But San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom says he's disappointed. Appointed. The Democratic gubernatorial candidate asks, what is there to protect your rights, my rights, anyone's rights from the whims of the majority? You can't call on the three branches of government, he says. Now, if you would like to leave your own comment or read the California Supreme Court ruling on gay marriage, just go to our website, cbs13.com, and look in the top story section. And